In this build, we're using the Dart LS Next aluminum tall deck block. There are other options out there uh, from Dart and other manufacturers for an iron block. Uh, even the factory has both aluminum and iron blocks that were in different vehicles for different applications. One thing to keep in mind is on a production LS aluminum block versus uh, let's say a 6 liter truck motor versus a 6 liter aluminum engine block. The difference is about 100 pounds of physical weight in just the block. So that can translate to a difference in the vehicle balance and setup depending on how the car was built and where the weight was put into the car. Some people that aren't as concerned about weight, maybe they're not even close to what the minimum weight needs to be, uh, it's maybe less of a concern. But some of these cars now with the current tire ruler bil building these cars right at or just over the minimum weight required, sometimes even building them under the minimum weight, and then adding weight at the very end of the build to just meet the minimum requirements. Now, <clears throat> beyond the weight, the other difference between the cast iron and aluminum is the expansion of the two different metals. You'll actually get a different expansion rate and total difference of expansion between an iron block and an aluminum block. That itself not an issue but it is something to be considered by whoever's doing the maintenance because if this is let's say a solid roller camshaft motor the difference between the hot lash setting and the cold lash setting will be different because the expansion rates are different on an iron block versus an aluminum block. 